Good evening, Dakota County Technical College Class of 2012. <coughs> Family, friends, the faculty and staff. I've been asked to speak here today not because I know any more than anybody else sitting in Luke's room or because I know it, everything. I'm here to share my story. Actually, being up here kind of hinders my original plans for the night to sit in a cafe and ball like a little baby. As a sophomore development student, you may have guessed that public speaking is not on the top of my list of things to do for fun. But, like most of you, I pushed through many obstacles to be here and graduate tonight, and I'd like to share what I've learned about life's failures and successes. It is a great honor to be the commencement speaker tonight, especially since, like Dr. Thomas said, this, it's taken me five majors to get to a graduation. I've dropped out of college twice. I became a single mother at the age of 18, and I've had my fair share of struggles, both self-imposed and external. But it has not been easy for any of us. I am definitely not the only single parent here, or the only person who has had their child a couple different majors. I know I'm not the only person who strayed from their original plan. I've heard many inspiring stories of classmates who have gone through much more than I've gone through to be here today. Tonight I'm up here, but it could easily be one of you. It could be you, or you. You actually look like you'd be pretty good at this, so if at some point things aren't going well up here and you want to switch out, just let me know. Hand signal or something. When I was asked the other day why I was chosen to be the speaker, I did what I think many of us do, and I let my failures come to mind first. But I did some thinking on it, and it's in our failures that we grow. Time in an accounting degree assured me that that's not what I want to do with my life, and I'm not actually even that good at math. And I won't ever question if I should have pursued a degree in personal training, because I tried it, and I found out I definitely like cake way too much to spend the rest of my life telling people what they should eat. <laughs> but because I had those experiences, now being in software development and being excited to go to class and do my homework, I know that that's right, because it just feels right. A Michael Dell, the CEO of Dell Computers, spoke to this when he said that it is in failure and mistakes that we learn and grow. Steve Jobs has even said that he wouldn't hire anybody who doesn't make mistakes, because if you don't make any mistakes, you're not doing anything. The story of Angry Birds is a great example of these concepts. The success of the game is insane. You can't walk through a department store without seeing Angry Birds towels, Angry Birds sweatshirts, slippers. Um, I've got 20 bucks that says somebody's got an Angry Birds t-shirt on under their gown tonight. It wouldn't surprise me. In fact, my mom learned about YouTube because of Angry Birds. Seriously, she called me up one day and was like, there's this great website you can go to, it's got videos, and it's all about like Angry Birds and how to be levels. And when I asked her the URL, she was like, that's like YouTube or something. <laughs> but I did some research on the development team, Rovio, out of Finland that um, developed the game, and it turns out they didn't achieve success overnight. It was actually their 51st project. They were near bankruptcy and wouldn't have made it if Angry Birds didn't have the success that it did. They tried really hard and kept going and it paid off the 51st time. What we can take from that is that it's not all unicorns and rainbows, which is good because that would be a bit over the top. We can also learn that there is success to be had for those of us that hit the ground running and get right back up when we fall. Success does not come without hard work and perseverance. But you all know that, and that brings us to tonight. Tonight we celebrate not only the graduation from Dakota County Technical College, we celebrate the journeys that we have taken to get here. That includes the success and the failures, the obstacles, and those that were there to help us get through them. That also includes celebrating how much brighter our futures can be now that we have achieved this goal. I do want to take a moment to reflect on the support that all of us have received to get to this point. Nobody here did it alone. If you think you did, you are wrong. Take a look around. We've all had the help of the faculty and staff at DCTC. I know for me, they've pushed me to work harder and believe in myself. We've all had the support of our families. It's been just as big of a success for them and a journey for them as well. My daughter has been so amazingly patient with me. My parents have gone above and beyond. In fact, I can see my parents out there crying right now. Um, that's actually not because of how proud they are. It's because when I hit degree number four and graduation didn't look like it was going to happen, 
they, uh, they promised a car, so <laughs> I'm hoping there's like a BMW out there somewhere in the bubble head. <laughs> and I definitely wouldn't be here without my sisters because um, they gave me a ride tonight, so there's, I seriously hope. I saw them leave, so I really hope there's a car out there. And I know I wouldn't have made it without my classmates. Like many of you, I can't claim perfect attendance or extensive knowledge in all of the areas that I study. So without having them to get me up to speed, I wouldn't have made it. No two people have the same experience at DCTC. I was fortunate enough to be one of 66 students to participate in Skills USA, where we took home 24 medals. Maybe you got to take part in the brilliant group that represented DCTC at the National Business Partners of America competition, where we nabbed 14 medals. Or maybe your journey included, say, being a member of the men's basketball team, which placed 19th in the national poll. I know firsthand how much time, effort, and sacrifice is put into those activities, and we need to take time to celebrate those tonight as well. I could list all the accomplishments of the class of 2012, but we'd be here all night, and like, if you're like me, you're probably excited to have a night free of homework. I seriously rented a movie like three weeks ago, and I feel like tonight might be the night. I'm probably gonna watch it. And there are those two who managed to complete their programs with jobs, families, and other responsibilities, and that needs to be celebrated as well. So maybe you're like me, and tonight has been a long time coming, or maybe you're like one of my classmates, who is a PSEO software development student, who's also going to be graduating from high school next week. What's important is that you know your journey, and that if you're one of those overachievers, you don't break. When you leave here today, I'm not asking you to remember my story. What I ask is that you take a moment to reflect on yours. College graduation is one of those milestones where it's a good time to take a look back, take a look at the present, and take a look at the future. In the past, what challenges have you faced? What failures and successes have you endured? And who has been for you, there for you through the good times and the bad? But also take a moment to enjoy this. Look around and really enjoy it. Feel this sense of accomplishment. We did it. Take a moment for yourself. If you're like me, you have a serious nap plan. Seriously, Sunday the phone's gonna stay in the car because I'm sleeping all day long. It's also a good time to look ahead. The failures and successes of our past are what shaped who we are today, and to remember both of them can help us to be less afraid for the future. If we can fearlessly put one foot in front of the other and march onward in our lives, we will have the ability to overcome failures and achieve success. So if you can't pick up from my admission that I'd rather be hiding in the cafe, or my blunt offer to have somebody else take over, public speaking is not on my list of favorite things to do. But DCTC challenged me, and I accepted it. I challenge you to do the same going forward. Whenever an opportunity enters your path, take it. Step out of your comfort zone. 